Hello, everyone. This is the one song. In this episode, I want to tell you the deviation of the robotic arm. First of all, please open the PC software and open the switch of the robotic arm. Using a USB cable to connect the controller and the computer to automatically install install the driver. It needs about one minute. After the driver installation is complete, you can see the indicator light turns green. It means that connection is successful. So let us click the reset servo. After assembly, the servo positions of the robotic arm will correspond to the ID number of the PC software. For example, robotic core is connected to the number one servo. Other parts also are connected to the servos in order. Click the reset servo button. If you assemble the, if you assemble the robotic arm incorrectly, the position of the robotic arm will be different from the posture in the picture. So you need to readjust it. However, a little deviation is available. How to debug deviation? Click read deviation. You don't need to drag the large slider. Only need to drag the small slider to move in a small range. With the same way, debug every servo. When the position of the servo is the same as the posture in the picture, in the picture, the debugging is finished. It means that the middle, it means that the middle three servo stand in a straight line, which is vertical to the plate. After assembly, if the robotic arm is still out of the vertical position, please remove the servo and the servo home. Proofread the servo's position again and reinstall it. After debugging all servos, you can download the deviations into the controller. In this way, the deviations can be saved in it forever. The next step is to download the action files into the controller. I will share the details later. So all of this is my introduction of the deviation of the robotic arm. Thanks for your watching. See you.